Hey you guys, Chamber in 37 xc bringing you Minecraft 14W02 in a nutshell, so let's get right to it. First we have slime blocks crafted with 9 slime balls filling up the entire crafting table. These can be bounced on, they completely negate all fall damage, and uh, you bounce up a certain, based on a certain percentage of how, far you fall, how high you fall from. If you want to just stop the jumping, or stop the, uh, the high jumping, you just hold down space. You move slower than you do on quicksand about the speed of about the speed of sneaking. Next we have granite, diorite, and andesite. These generate in the stone layer below Y80 and similar size veins of uh, say gravel or dirt. They have the same properties, uh, data values, blast resistance, all that stuff as stone. These can also be obtained through crafting in the following method. This, this, or this. Each of these can also be crafted in a 2x2 fashion to form a polished variant of each corresponding stone. And here's what the polished versions look like next to the regular versions. You are now also able to craft mossy stone bricks and chiseled stone bricks by, for mossy, combining one vine and one stone brick, or for chiseled stone brick by combining two stone brick slabs. Something about locking chests I don't really understand. Enchanting has seen some significant changes. Now you are required to not only use lapis to enchant an item, uh, one, one, either one, two, or three lapis, but the uh, they've now changed this right number to more of a pre prerequisite amount of experience that you need to have to get it. But the left number is not only how much lapis you need, but also the um, the amount of levels that it actually costs you, thus making enchantments much cheaper to get overall. And also now one of the possible things, one of the things that you'll get with that enchantment is now displayed as you hover over that particular item. It has also become significantly more difficult to actually increase in level. Enemy items now only cost one level, and repairing items will cost between two to five levels, and it is now f more feasible to repair higher level enchantments for less cost. The trade system has been significantly improved. Trades are now less random and generally more useful. There are um, Each villager also now starts with several deals to give you, and they, each villager has a different profession, as you saw, there's a fisherman, there's another fisherman. There can be, there's a plethora of different, different roles that the different villagers can possibly have. The white-robed villagers are still always librarians. The brown robes can either be fishermen, farmers, fletchers, or shepherds. The white-aproned villagers can either be butchers or leather workers. Black aprons, the black apron villagers can now be armorers, toolsmiths, or weaponsmiths. And it's worth noting that each profession sells distinctly different items based on what that person would characteristically sell. Iron Golem's only desire now is simply to fly. You're now able to permanently lock the difficulty in a certain world. As you see, I've locked the difficulty to peaceful. By clicking this lock, this world will only ever be that difficulty so as to avoid accidentally changing the difficulty on worlds that you'd really rather not. Boats now break into sticks and planks when falling from a height that is greater than three blocks. A whole bunch of minor things that you'll have to check the wiki if you want to learn more about. The Eldpack unofficial continuation project, of which some of you might know that I oversee, has also been updated with this newest update. See, look how pretty those blocks look. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please let me know if you enjoyed this format for Minecraft updates, and uh, I'll be sure to keep it in consideration for future update videos that I do just on games in general. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Next we have granite, diorite, and and andesite. And next we have granite, diorite, and andesite. These can be gener these generate at stone. Next we have granite, diorite, and andesite. These generate in the stone layer below Y80 in similar veins to say uh, like dirt and gravel. They can be crafted as well as seen in the natural, as you see here. This one is granite, diorite, and andesite respectively. Uh, they can also be crafted. And next we have grant. Next we have granted. Grant can also be crafted like each of these can also, can also be crafted in a four two by. These can all. Present food meter. This thing go down. I've been doing this for like three minutes. I wish was this was only in super hostile. My life would be so much easier. It's wild. 
that's probably because I'm the most full loader. Damn it. It also is considerably harder to level up now. Boats now break into sticks and planks like they used to when falling from too, hollow of, too fall of a height. A whole bunch of other minor things that you'll have to check the wiki to know exactly what they did. The Eldpack Unofficial Continuation Project, which is a... In